看看新闻网。Hotel. Now we've already learned some frog gras dishes, but the chef has decided to uh, change things up, and so today's dish is going to do a seafood. It's using the biling mushroom and also sea cucumber. It sounds pretty interesting, and you know the mushrooms are one of my favourite ingredients to use, especially the Chinese ones. So let's go buy our ingredients, and we'll come back and teach you how to make this. Love it. This. this is the season for asparagus, and you get, you know, a number of different varieties. Obviously, the green is the one that's, you know, most readily available. Um, I always try to find ones that are nice and thin, especially this season. And for something that you're going to be using fresh, you know, either in a salad or just grilling it, you want to get it really nice, so nice and thin. That way, you're not going to lose a lot of it. If you're getting something really thick, like these ones. It's okay for a soup or things like that, but really most of this down here is so fibrous, so tough that you're really not going to eat it. You're going to be throwing it out and you're going to be paying for something that you really are not going to eat. So look, eight quite, nine quite, a lot heavier, cut that off and you're not going to use it. This one, thinner, and you're going to be using pretty much most of this. So that is really, and don't forget the asparagus head is actually fantastic for you. You've got a lot of nutrients in it, so you want to keep them. Don't throw them away. <laughs> well, they've actually helped prepare this. You know, most of the time in China, you actually get these dry, and a lot of them very small. But actually, when you get them fresh, which they've done here for me, again, they've helped me through it. They've got their tank there, and um, you, they're, they're perfect, exactly what you want. But I know that when you get a dry one, there's quite a lot of process that you have to go through to actually be able to eat them. So we'll find out what that is when I speak to the chef. So we'll grab that. That's all I need. Very simple dish. So let's go and start cooking. This is a hai 海参怎么会变成这个样子？本来就很小的干的，这个差不多这么大，嗯、现在变成这个样子，怎么回事？对，我这个我们要先蒸过，然后再用清水下去发。那你要，因为我真的这个东西我在家里真的不会做，我拿干的，我先需要做什么？嗯、放在一个盘子蒸，蒸多长时间？呃，你要先用开水先把它烫过。哦，先先开，放在开水。对，要烫多长时间？对，然后烫差不多，嗯，二十分钟。这么长时间？然后而且是要开一直开的吗？对，然后再用清水，然后那个水要不能有污，不能有油脂的。如果碰到油脂的话，它就发不起来。真的？对。好、嗯、，OK， 所以是很干净的。对对对。放在热水，然后拿出来放在冷水，对，对然后要蒸，然后要放一点那个，放一点水让它让让它循环这样子。OK，、嗯、然后呢？然后再还需要蒸吗？要，然后发好的还要再去蒸。蒸多长时间？然后蒸差不多四十分钟，然后它这个发的话，差不多要发到三天左右。它这边的话要配合包汁，然后把那个包汁的味道融入这个海参里面。那我们是吃这个是为了它的口感，嗯，然后是配。嗯，好，那我们那我们先来蒸腰参。好。哎、欸，你刚才要考虑的啊、哦？哎，为什么要用这个？因为用用这个纸蒸的话，它那个蒸汽才不会跑掉。It's like a total burning hot. No oil, no oil. Oh, no, you just need to cook it. Okay. You need such a big pot? Yes. Oh, my God. 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 
然后我们需要把它灌一点水。灌水？来，在这边。哦，我只是 wait a second， 等一等，你看一看，这旁边你可以看，它放的水啊。那个，我你在这个还剩放了几层的那个这个纸，是因为它不会焦掉了，是吧？对，两放两层。好，我就把它放在这边蒸。嗯。那如果你是为了几个人，你会全部放在里面，是不是？哦，对，看它的量，如果五个人的话，你就可以放多一点。怎么办？对，那个很蒸，它会崩吗？不会，不会，它这个这样蒸很快，比那个蒸箱蒸的那个速度还快，就一下子水就开了。现在我们可以来会那个百灵菇，这个是什么东西？这个百灵菇，然后我们先可以先把它切好。百灵菇它也是用用包汁下去烩的。其实也煮好了以后，这也差不多这个颜色。对对。然后你是用这个阿布拉尼的汁。啊，是的。也进去了。对。基本上这个就是一个很便宜的阿布拉尼。对。其实也不是这么便宜，但是其实比阿布拉尼便宜多了。哦，那肯定的。然后我们这个。这个汁是怎么？你就是平常的那个阿布拉尼汁放进去了，就是再上点嘛。我知道你自己做的。对，然后这个会用那个老鸡母，然后金瓦火腿，然后很多的材料下去熬的。然后我们现在可以焖卤水。OK。好，然后哎，先在这边。油，你要要橄榄油吗？嗯，我今这个不要。哎。哇耶耶耶！哇哦！好。So cool. 可以的，这个。Yep, as I guessed, absolutely no flavor at all to it. Hey, this is a really weird thing. Uh, 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 we're going to put it in here for our audience. Sea cucumber. Is it a an animal, or is it a vegetable, a seaweed, what have you? What do you think it is? Sea cucumber. Should be pretty simple, right? Let's see what you think. Vegetable. Okay. Well, can you show? 英文的名字就是叫海黄瓜，你知道了吗？哦，它的英语的名字叫 sea cucumber。哦、oh, ，海黄瓜。所以我开始看这个的时候，你知道了，我刚刚来中国，他们就有这个东西，我以为它是素的，但是它是动物，是海鲜的，对对对，海鲜的动物。It's not a cucumber。你有吃过吗？我吃过了，吃过了，吃过了。我现在吃过了。啊。It is not a vegetable. It is not a sea plant. It is an animal. There we go. It's like a, it's like a grub. It's like a, a caterpillar. 其实它有一点像一个虫，你知道吗？哦。这个虫就后面变成蝴蝶。哦，对。蝴蝶是有点像。我先先装这个白莲菇。百灵菇有有什么特别呢？它百灵菇它是一个菌菇类的，对，然后它吃起来是有点像鲍鱼的味道。嗯，可以，你可以加点黄油。哦。哎。Oops。Spin it up。嗯。嗯。你香的黄油的味道了。好的。哎，然后这个纸。哎好，我们尝一尝味道。我先吃这个。冲，喵喵喵，很。It's 
kind of got a rubbery flavor. 我我相信，如果我买那个只瓶装的，不会这么好吃。哦、oh, ，那为什么？因为它真的本来没有什么味道。对啊，对你放这种的很差的东西在上面，就感觉很奇怪， oh, 很奇怪。但你做的汁非常好吃。那我看一看这个。感觉像爆，像。This is absolutely delicious. I know. Honestly, if you're trying to impress someone, then this is sort of dish that you want to be cooking for them. You can get this recipe at youarethechef.tv. Also, remember, if you're cooking something like this at home, let us know about it at weibo.com/youarethechef. That is it for us today. We've got one more dish. How are you going to hack? So tomorrow we're going to come back, and it's also a seafood dish. It's a very strange thing, a very strange thing, isn't it? Okay, we'll see you tomorrow with the last of our dishes here. Thank you so much. We'll see you then. Bye.